Holy shit, we've been doing this mission for like two hours. This is crazy. This is flying by though. I like feels like it's been 30 minutes or something. It's such a different uh, kind of mission, but like fucking awesome. You must admit, the work done in Cumberland. Hmm. Like, we've never had a, a mission that's just like... I mean, there has been some combat, well, but like... that's useful. So much of this has been not combat. It's been this unique Ole playing the game stuff. It was very cool. I just... I love the main missions in this game, man. Okay, hello, bros. Okay, so you will get to keep your stuff. So it's just me that needs to redo it. Right, everyone else has still got all their shit. Yeah, okay, good. Fifteen, hooray! So, even Liliana thought this place was dangerous and you wanted to just walk in here. This party is looking up. <laughs> Okay. Open the royal wing door. Statuettes required one out of five. Oh god. Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody? Anybody? <laughs> Bye. Get fucked on. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Are you hurt? <laughs> Sorry to cut in. No, I can't do that. Are you hurt? Are you all right? I'm... I, I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala sent you here? Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace. I don't think she'd have sent you here if she thought Not you were going to die. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Could anyone else send orders? Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. I just don't see why she would send someone to die. <laughs> this is Florian's room? So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. Hmm. What were you looking for? What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. How'd you get in? This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. Hmm. You're brave to come here. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Hmm. I wonder if she knows. I wonder if Briala knows that she knows. Something like that could destroy Briala, if it were known. No. Some know she has a, a history with the Empress. But they believe she was just a favored servant. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that's Celine's scandal, not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. Okay. Well, that's blackmail for her, but I don't really want to use that. Because <laughs> I want her in charge. So I hope I get the... I hope it doesn't like... Oh, hello. 
I hope I'm able to not use that, I guess. I mean, it's good to have something to hold over her for us, but we don't want anyone else to have anything to hold over her. I'm thinking trap. Yes, definitely. You painted on Legion assholes! What I can... Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my baits. Hmm. Okay, so she is the bitch. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Selene's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your or Legion Absolute royalty, fucking why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. At this point, I think disappointment was an old friend. You poor deluded thing. You don't know half of what Samson and I have planned. And now I suppose you never will. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. I get it, I get it, it's not happening. <laughs> demons coming right uh those were in fact demons good eye those were definitely demons make her bless me demons how could there be demons in the fucking winter palace <laughs> i like this demon. was a bastard but i didn't think he'd feed me the fucking horrors over a damn <laughs> bill wait gaspard did this to you duke gaspard lured you out here well his sister but it had to come yeah, from no, him, didn't it? it didn't come from but him. But all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Uh, yeah, no. You think this is over a bill? You honestly believe you were captured, tied up, and thrown into a death trap? 
because of a bill? When you put it like that, it seems a bit odd. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlais. Sticking punzy cheesemongers. Come work for me instead. Want a new job? One that pays better. The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. All right. Okay. Hello. Now we haven't actually found any blackmail. Well, actually, well, was, does does that dude count as the blackmail on Gaspard? Hmm. Le Requiem. After his coronation in 884 Blessed, Emperor Florian commissioned the building of a chapel in the place in the palace of Halam Sharal as his first act to honour his infant daughter Evangeline, who died in the Hundred Days Cough Outbreak of 877. The chapel cons contains exquisite murals Empress Justinia herself painted of the life and death of Andraste. Hmm. Very cool. Very cool. Hang on, I don't want to leave just yet. There must be more to find, right? Fuck, did I miss something? Did I come in here too soon? Compendium of Orlesian Theatre. Okay, I don't really I don't really care about reading the script. Incredibly, this enjoyable if somewhat predictable melodrama begat a storm of debate. At the end of the piece, the murder of Lord Carcass changes into a villain's mask before giving an elaborate confessional speech. At the time, masks in Orlesian Theatre were fixed to each role. Plays were written with the assumption that the masks gave audience vital information, a play's characters might not possess. Death in the Mansion ignored this implicit contract, shocking the audiences at the time. Armand was nearly destroyed by the attacks on death in the mansion by both her theatre-goers and Orlesian critics. Many accused her of an unforgivable, unforgivable violation of the spirit of the theatre. A vogue for false face stories caught on amongst the foremost writers of the time, however, and today Armand's techniques are seen as wholly unremarkable. It only goes to show how easily the alchemy of time shifts the outrageous into the everyday.
Right, that's the thing that requires more Hala statues, of which we have not found any. Hmm. Wait, isn't this where we came in? Is this not where we came in from? Wait, I'm maybe a little lost? We didn't... We didn't arrive in this way, did we? No. I don't think there's a way to get back. I feel like I, I must have skipped something in the royal wing. I feel like I got locked out earlier than I intended to. I didn't because I didn't know that it was going to throw me in a cutscene. I thought it was just I heard someone screaming. We just opened a door and helped someone screaming. So I thought we would again open a door and help someone screaming. And that would be the other blackmail. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if anything we've got is good enough to have for what's a face to use over Gaspard. That's back into the ballroom. Is that it then? Are we done? What is what is right next to me here? Return to Cullen. Return to Cullen. Return to Cullen. Right. All over the place. Okay. I think that's as best we can do. I guess that dude is the other information then. I just feel like I ran too quickly into that cutscene. Let's see how this plays out then. Thank the Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Publicly expose the Duchess's crimes to court, avoiding further bloodshed. Save Celine's life, then deal with the Duchess. Allow the Empress to die before dealing with the Duchess. Ooh. I guess if we're going for Gaspard with Briala controlling him, then we have to allow the Empress to die. Which I feel kind of bad about, but... I guess it is what it is. The Duchess will assassinate Selene personally. Wait for her to strike, then grab her. As you command. That's the game. <laughs> That's the Elysian game. We're playing the game. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. My friends, we have lost much. We have each seen a child, a lover, a friend consigned to the flames. The darkness has closed in around us, but even now there is light. We must be that light. We must lead our people safely through these troubled times. 
We must be their guiding star. Tonight, the war dividing us must end. My friends, we are here to witness a historic moment. A great change is coming for all of us. Isn't that right, Gaspard? Have you gone mad? No, not Gaspard. You did this for Corypheus. What a terrible guest you are, interrupting your host. Poor Corypheus! Kill them! Oh shit, she's getting away? Wait, we're, we're actually going after her? Can we, can we stop her still? I did not expect her to actually get away there. <laughs> Whoa, she just did a fucking quick change. I should thank you. You played your part marvelously. Both Celine and Gaspard destroyed in a single blow. The Council of Heralds will devour each other, and while they do, Corypheus will come. The demons of Adamant were not his only army. The Empire will fall, and Thedas with it. I'll stop it. Not on my watch. That is precisely why I led you out here, Inquisitor. Your death will be the crowning jewel of my victory tonight. So good of you to attend my soiree. Okay, here we go then. And she's gone. See? 
get fucked on. Okay, now can we go back and tell them that it wasn't Gaspard? Because otherwise we're truly fucked. <laughs> if they believe that Gaspard did it, then what she said is probably true. <laughs> but everything is screwed. But if we can go back and convince them that she was working for Corypheus, then we're all good, I think. Fucking dangerous game we're playing here. Jesus Christ. Letting Celine die. That is a risky fucking play. I hope it, I hope it works out here. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is definitely the end now, though. What a massive mission. Fucking huge. Love it. Love it. It's been awesome. I'm just nervous about how it's going to wrap up here. Wasting your time trying to stir the nobility against me. We are at war. I hardly have to stir them at all. Your sister murdered Celine. Everyone saw it. You're a traitor by association. What do you hope to gain, Rabbit? You can't claim Celine's empty throne for yourself. Maybe not. But I can keep it from you. Oh, yes. Okay, it did work out. It did work out. Use blackmail material to put Briala in power. Yes. What does this one say? Discredit Briala and support Gaspard. No. Briala in power. Yes. With everything I've found on Gaspard, I'm sure Briala can effectively rule the Empire. <laughs> I doubt anything in the world, let alone inside the palace, could put the rabbit in power. We have your mercenary. The testimony of the Ferelden mercenary you hired to stage a coup tonight might be enough. How much weight do you imagine the word of a cell sword carries with the court? The word of a mercenary willing to speak out against a Grand Duke? You know exactly what that's worth. We also know about your threats. We also know of the threats you issued to the Council of Heralds. You've made your point. What are your demands? Don't worry, your majesty. You'll find you can endure them. Nice. Okay. Okay, this has worked out how we planned. Rip Selene. You took one for the team there. I think this is going to work out well for us in the long run. Um, what now, Briala? So what are your demands? You must have something planned. The elves of Ole will make great gains under our new emperor. Wait and see. I'm not about to forget your part in this. Good, I'd hope the not. The Inquisition will have all the support I can raise. I promise. Cassandra greatly disapproves. F. For the first time in centuries. If only Celine, my people will find a way to repay you. I promise you. Don't waste this chance. Just use this opportunity well. I will. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. This is possibly the biggest but chance elves have had in fucking how who Don't knows give how the many nobility, years. The good news. Lords and ladies of the court, it is done. This was not the end any of us would have chosen, but the civil war is over. We stand here as proof of the Empire's fortitude. Our enemies must learn that Ole shall not fall to treachery. We will never surrender our Empire. We shall teach them the finality of this truth with steel. With the Inquisition, okay, that was a weird little bug. <laughs> we will drive the demons back into the Fade. The Maker himself could not protect them from the wrath of the Lion. We will make Orle safe again. Together, we will assure a future of peace and security, not just for Orle, but all Thedas. Gather your soldiers, my friends. The Empire marches to war. Hello! I was wondering if we were going to see you again. Here, at last, I find our absent hero. 
hidden away despite the efforts of all Orle to find you. The elves raise glasses in your honor while the newly crowned emperor glowers. It is quite the spectacle. It's good to see you. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm Please nice. come with. Please come with. <laughs> then I have happy news. Yes! As you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Fuck Gaspar yes. Gaspar wishes to offer any and all aid to the one who supported his ascent to the throne. So, here I am. Fuck yes! You want to join us? I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Gaspar never liked my attendance at court. He wishes me as far from here as possible. Mayhap he feels the Inquisition a convenient repository for unwanted apostates. I cannot say. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orlais and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What can you do? What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. Yeah, you fucking do. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. <laughs> Are you a blood mage? When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. Holy fuck, A words I never thought I'd hear. Response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Fuck yes, dude. Fucking Morrigan is back as a major player. Holy shit. Never fucking thought in a I'm million years. I'm not surprised years. to find you out here. That would happen. Thought? Um... Yeah, I kind of regret Celine's death. I, I like that. It, it was a necessity, but it's very unfortunate. I don't know if I did the right thing, letting the Empress die. Sometimes sacrifices must be made. Nothing is ever won without something else being lost. Remember the lesson, but do not dwell on it. You didn't invent war. Come, before the band stops playing, dance with me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Give me a moment alone. Excellent idea. I'd love to. Aww. Aww. I like their relationship. It's cute. Have I read this one? The Mystery and Meaning of Eight Silks? Oh yeah, that's the things hanging across Val Royo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my fucking god, there we go. That is that is the longest mission in the game. Two and a half hours ish. Pretty sure we were about an hour into this recording when we when we started that mission. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Val Royo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor, please, may I have a word with you? Uh, who are you? Sh sure. How may I assist you, revered mother? Who? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia <laughs> the They're a little busy, mate. I have already told you, revered mother. Yeah. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot Josephine be spared is correct. from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just Bro. two souls. They're like... My literal fucking closest confidants. They support me in fucking untold ways. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? 
They were her holiness's most trusted advisors. I guess they with everyone who legacy, was eligible hopes for peace to be divine getting fucking could rally the blown up, clerics to follow as no candidate for then the maybe they want they want Leliana and Cassandra to like help them pick the next one because they knew the divine's wishes the best as like the people that were closest to her. So. Oh, wait, no, that's not what they're saying. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Wait, you're saying they're candidates for the Divine? Leliana and Cassandra are candidates to become the Divine. How is that possible? Not yet, but they could be. We need them to be. Huh. There is precedent. Other times when clerics remain deadlocked, a successor was chosen from outside the clergy. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. Wow, okay. That's fucking major. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. I'd have to let them decide. Leliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. <laughs> I love the you, Josephine. The Inquisitor has only just returned and at has a important later date. to attend. Grin. You must excuse us, revered mother. Man, that is... That is... That, oh. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. Bless you. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Fuck me. Wicked eyes and wicked hearts. Quest completed. Well, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was brilliant. Uh, where is a wild Morrigan hanging out? Question mark in the barn? Hmm. That's where what's-his-face is. Farrick, Solus, Dorian, Eliana, Cullen, Cole, Morrigan. That's the garden, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Cool. Okay, well, I do want to end it there, but uh, I need to set some stuff to go overnight on the old table, don't I? So hopefully no cutscenes get triggered. Inquisitor. But, uh... We've got some longer ones, which I definitely want to get going before we wrap up here, even though we are in we are in overtime. Some girthy parts for that mission, for sure. I'll probably split it into two parts, I guess, so. Be a good solid, like, hour and 20-ish each, I guess. Okay, It's time scene. to plan Fuck. our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Ambassador Briala has not forgotten her debt. You may count on aid from Orlais. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Okay, let's hope for deserters. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. <laughs> Perhaps. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. Okay. We'll keep them there. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking Elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Hmm. Which should surprise no one. Morrigan! Oh, back in the classic outfit. I can assist. Please continue. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. God damn, she looks so good. Which is? It is best if I show you. Sorry, Solus, I'm romancing Morrigan again. Oh my god, is this cutscene continuing? <laughs> I really need to end. I just wanted to do the table thing. 
I just wanted to set stuff to go, man. This. Oh shit. Is an illuvian. Yep. An elven artifact. Is this the one that we went through? Long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. This must be the one that we went through at the end of Dragon Age Origins, right? An elven artifact? This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds. Untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Holy shit, we're just gonna... Are we finally finding out where he went? It, I assume it leads to the same place that it did... 10 years ago? Assuming it is the same one. A lot of assumptions here, but... What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I just wanted to set some fucking things on the table, man! Holy shit. This is some ancient elven place. It's got the circles that we just did the puzzle with that put the fire inside them. Wait, look at all the background. There's a bunch more. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. Holy fuck, that's a lot of them. I call it the crossroads. A place where all Illuvians join. Wherever they might be. Holy shit, that's huge. It's incredible. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. So this is where she went with the hero of Ferelden then, I guess. And then who knows where from there. How did you find this? How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. What does that mean? If they'd only lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe also, it no better. Also, what's going on For with your time, kid? I had a respite with the man I love. Oh, shit! For a time... I had a safe place to raise my son. Oh, but shit. only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. So what happened to him? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I know. We read we read the thing, right? He's looking for a way to stop the calling. So they, they just, they were chilling for a good few years? Oh, I'm happy about that. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. You have a key? I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Man, this is crazy. <laughs> Corypheus wants this. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it.
This is insane. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. These are so we many answers and shit. To stop him, and soon. Oh man, so long. I've wondered what the fuck happened after they walked through that alluvian and the game ended, and now we know. Some of it. Not the whole story, but we know that they were happy together for a good few years. We know it led here. We know that this leads to many other places. Some in our world, some sort of some in-between state. We know what the Hero of Ferelden is currently doing. This has been amazing. This is this is everything I want. <laughs> Fuck, this game is so good, man. Apart from the purple circle side quest, this game is so good. Oh man. Now can I please go set my fucking timers? Oh shit. Oh shit. Where are we? Was this here before? No, we couldn't go in that room before. Huh. Okay, well, I will be back to talk with you in the next part, Morrigan. We will, of course, be doing our regular post-main mission skyhold cleanup sesh. But, uh... Yeah, I really do need to end for today. So, let's hope there's no more fucking <laughs> cutscenes. We can set our timers and wrap this up. Because uh, that has been a much longer video than I was expecting. We are at almost four hours in this one this one video. Not, like, obviously I'll split it into parts, but like this one bit. <laughs> for me, four hours. And I uh, was not expecting that when I started. Uh, right, we're on, we're on, uh, increase inventory capacity now, yeah, yeah, good. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, so, who's finished what? The Arcanist in the Fade, Arcanist Dagna was supplied with remnants of exposures to the rifts in the Fade, and she has done something. It is perhaps best to contain her efforts to the Undercroft from now on. Reports received. Right, I guess we have to go down there and speak to her about it. Um... Nothing else finished here, so the other two must be over here then. Aid... oh no. Uh, Alliance is forging a way forward. The Tybalt family is becoming a clear favourite in the War of Station that is ongoing between the noble houses. The, border, the Borderlands have all but ceased to exist socially, and many are scrabbling for traditional alliances. Lady Eustace Richelieu has emerged as a strong voice at court and is suggesting several arranged marriages to solidify ties, and presumably the standing of her house as arbiter and matchmaker. Reaching ever upward, okay. Uh, destroy Adamant Fortress. The Chargers were able to tear down what was left of Adamant Fortress. The demons could have been a problem, but the support forces Commander Cullen dispatched kept them off our backs nicely. With the extra time the Inquisition forces gave us, we were able to salvage a few interesting items from the wreckage of Adamant, including an old map of the surrounding area with Grey Warden supply caches marked. Hopefully it comes in handy. Claim Grey Warden cache, okay. Uh, where did that one go? There. Alright, that is... Oh, wait, and this one. Uh, source of Darkspawn attack. Sister Liliana's advice was excellent. Her scouts located a mining operation Marquise Buffon had started in secret, which must have freed the Darkspawn from beneath the earth. When discovered, the Marquis sent mercenaries to attack, but the Grey Wardens were well prepared and easily cut down all resistance. Marquis Buffon has fled into the Gamordan Peaks. The Grey Wardens remain in high spirits. They seem proud of this opportunity to redeem their name in good faith, and losses so far have been light. It's an honour to fight beside them. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so what did we want to do? Support from Navara. This is a Josephine thing. Set that to go. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, yes. At your service. Then over here we had a Leliana one. Uh, go around him. Yep. Let's see what we have. And then this was also a Liliana one, I think. Yeah. Uh, claim Grey Warden Cash. Is that Cullen one? Inquisitor. Per information gleaned from the wreckage of Adamant Fortress, the Inquisition has learned of a cache of Grey Warden supplies hidden not far away. They place such supplies to aid those fighting large numbers of Darkspawn without reinforcement. The Inquisition could make good use of them. Commander Cullen. Uh, Liliana, small team could be in and out with no one the wiser. Cullen, the area is dangerous. We'll need a heavily armed force to reach the supply cache. Sounds good. Five hours. Bada bing, right. bada boom. That is a good one to set to go overnight. What pride had wrought? 40 cost. Oh, shit. That is pretty big. I mean, we've got plenty, obviously, but... I assume this isn't the end of the game. So the next one after that will probably be like 50 or something. 
So they're definitely starting to ramp up the cost. I wonder how many missions are left. I don't know. Feels like there's probably still a few. Anyway, that is it. They are set to go overnight. Oh, Morrigan's in the room now with us and everything. I love her so much. Oh, I'm so happy. What a, what a fucking excellent day. What a fantastic day. What a fantastic mission. Really unique. Really cool. Nothing like any other mission we've had in the, in the franchise before. And with such brilliant things as Morrigan coming back and us affecting the whole future of Orlay and thus Thedas and like just absolute madness. Absolute madness. And also I got to dance with Solus. So that's pretty cool. Hope you have enjoyed. I, I, I would be stunned if you haven't. <laughs> I feel like this is one of the best parts of the game. Uh, so, yeah, I hope I hope I hope you agree. I hope that was awesome for you as it was for me. If it was, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, the buying of games, all that jazz. I would massively appreciate any support there. And yeah, that is it for now. I will see you next time for more Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks for watching. See you then.